how to read notes on the guitar. Uh, first thing is you need to know your notes. On any instrument there are 12 notes per octave. The octave is when the note repeats again as it ascends or descends. Um, basically you have A through G and you have sharps and flats between every note except for B to C and E to F. Um, the guitar neck moves left to right ascending and this is how the notes work too. So if for example we were on the E string, okay, either low or high, when you picked your E string that's zero fret, it's open. First fret would be F, F sharp and G flat would be second fret, and so on. If you were at your 12th fret, it repeats again. So that's your, your higher E than your, than your open E string, uh, but then it can go descending or ascending. So you could go 12th fret, 13th, 14th, and so on, or 12th, 11th, 10th, and so on. Or at your 24th fret, uh, you'd have 24, 23, 22, because you wouldn't be going higher. The next step is you need to know how to read notes. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. You can Wikipedia this. It's common to any instrument if you look up treble clef. But basically it's alphabetical. The G clef, that's a cursive G there. This line going through the curly Q here, the note on that line is a G. And then it goes alphabetical. Remember it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G and repeats over and over. So that space is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and so on. And when you go in reverse, G, F, E, D. Basically, you have to know that your three bass strings on your guitar are the, uh, the, the E, A, and D below the staff. The G, B, and E in the staff uh, are your treble strings, and we have to know that. Um, and just keep in mind, a G string, for example, let's say, can only start at G and go up. It can only play a note higher than itself or the same note. It can't play lower notes unless you retune the guitar. Okay, the last step is figuring out how to find the notes on the guitar. Uh, the issue is that a guitar can play the same note a bunch of different ways, whereas a piano, while it has you know virtually double the range of a guitar, uh, doesn't have the ability to play the same note a million different ways. And a guitar does, and many books don't address this. So it's really simple. If you've ever done the thing where you tune your guitar by, say, holding down the fifth fret on the low E while you play the A, you know what you need to know to find the same note at a different place. So unison note means the same exact note at a different place. If we took a note on the high E string, so let's say first fret F, if we add five frets and go to the next string, which would be six fret, it's the same note. This is true of every string except for moving G to B where it's four because of the way the guitar is tuned. You could also start on a, on a lower string and subtract that same amount to get there. Okay, so let's do a specific example to uh, tie everything up. So let's say I wanted to play this A sharp right here. Uh, the only strings that could play that note would be the G, the D, the A, or the E, because remember they could move left to right, lower to higher, up the neck to get there. But don't overthink it. Visually speaking, G will get you there the quickest. Quickest meaning fewest frets. You, it's higher and higher up the neck, more and more frets to get there each time. The B and the E could never play that note because they're too high in pitch. They can't get to that note. You don't have negative frets. So let's say if we played it on the G string, we know we, the first A sharp we get to is the right one. If I'm on my G string, that'd be open. G sharp would be first fret, second fret would be A, third fret would be A sharp or B flat. I could then take that note on the G string, and if I don't like it on the third fret, I could add five frets and play it on the eighth fret, and so on. Okay, so now that we know all that, there's only one more consideration that we need to, uh, to know. If we're trying to play music that is not specifically written for guitar, uh, we're going to have to move the notes. Now, the reason for this is guitar is a transposing instrument. What's really going on is w when we play a note that's, for example, like middle C, the note we're producing is actually an octave lower than that. Um, we're writing it higher than it's actually played, and that's called transposing. So, if we saw a piece of piano music and they wanted us to play middle C, we actually need to play the middle C one octave higher to produce the actual correct note, and we call this concert pitch. Uh, if we don't do that, it's going to sound like Jabba the Hutt is playing whatever song we're trying to play, which is really cool if you're in a Star Wars cover band. But uh, generally, you're not going to want to do that. So as long as you make that adjustment when you're reading music that was written for violin or piano, everything's going to be great.